speaker, I am representing Barakwa Central, the Barakwa North Federal Constituency. I am from Ayo State. Mr. Speaker, my honorable colleagues, I have a motion, and with the kind permission of the right honorable speaker in the House, I move. The House notes that effective policing is the nation's most pressing challenge. Hence, the need to boost the capacity of Nigerian police force to enable it to perform its core constitutional function of maintaining law and order and safeguarding the lives and property of ordinary citizens, thereby addressing the state of insecurity in the country. Aware that Nigeria has approximately 370,000 police personnel to police an estimated 200 people, which is glaringly inadequate and self-defeating. Hence, the need for recruitment of more police personnel for the force. Conscious that the Nigerian police force is clearly overwhelmed by the numerous security challenges plaguing the country, given that most activities of bandits, kidnappers, armed robbers, and headsmen are carried out in enclaves, jungles, and forests located all over Nigeria, which were hitherto guarded by forest guards. Cognizant that the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Mohammed Adamu, is making efforts to improve the performance of police personnel and has recently ordered police formations across the country to refer to the eight hours, three shift work schedule from the present 12 hours Two shift regime which will improve the performance of the police personnel by reducing work related stress and emotional conditions that negatively impact on their performance. Also, conscious that the Police Service Commission, PSC, is proposing having part time constables and has outlined the requisite qualifications of prospective constables and some operational details and they will be drawn from the pool of already employed Nigerians in various professions who are physically fit and within the ages of 21 and 50 years, and who, unlike their regular counterparts, will not be harmed even when in uniform, as their duties will be restricted to administrative matters, crowd control, alternative dispute resolutions, emergency management, and other less risky or sensitive services. Also aware that there are so many Nigerians with excellent professional qualifications roaming the streets daily, seeking for employment, who are suitable for recruitment and should therefore be the target of the Nigerian police force with regards to the proposed part-time constables. Concerned that the proposal to enlist between 15 to 25,000 part time constables annually over a period of five years will not address the shortfall in the conventional force since it is very glaring. Further aware that the police personnel are not as well kitted as their counterparts in other countries. As officers on duty ought to have a duty belt of a handgun, a taser, an expandable baton, pepper spray, a set of handcuffs, ammunition magazines, gloves, torch, and a two-way radio. The House resolves one, to call on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to direct the Police Service Commission to put on hold the proposal for recruitment of first-time constables, as the measure will not address the shortfall in police personnel in the country or ensure the needed security. Two, 
also call on the federal government to commence the recruitment of Nigerians with requisite professional qualifications into the Nigerian police force to address the shortfall in the force. Three, urge the federal government to ensure that the forest guards responsible for law enforcement in national parks and forests have their operations streamlined to include enforcing coaching duties, safeguarding and protecting animal species, and patrolling the forest to keep off bandits and criminal elements, and they should be incorporated into the security architecture of the country, being a paramilitary agency. We also also hold the National Security Advisor to put in place effective collaboration between the security agencies with a view to harmonizing their intelligence gathering and operations. The House is to mandate the Committees on Police Affairs and National Security and Intelligence when constituted to ensure compliance and report back to the House for further legislative action.